surprise! Just when you thought that I was gone, or that we were gone, that it was gone, boom! More geeks and gay. Ha! Cue music. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. noticed that we've been missing for a little while, almost a month, so hey, I've heard you have a funny definition of a little while. Well, what do you want? First, it was life. Yeah. Like last time we talked and everything, I was still unemployed and still had things going on, school, blah, 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 blah. But then it became a matter of, hey, let's get this party back under control, and that's what I'm doing. That's what's going on here. That's that's what's happening. Why am I doing the robot? I am just dancing the robot for no reason. Which is great for you people listening on the audio podcast. You know that you wanted to hear someone dancing the robot. I'll, I'll add sound effects. Boop, 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 beep, 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 beep. I was stuck. So, why do I want to redo this? Things just kind of got a little crazy. Things were like not quite going where we were, where we wanted to. I don't even know when the last time was we actually talked about anything geek related. I still like our little Wednesday talks. Those were really sweet. Not necessarily getting rid of those, but we are going to start getting back to focus on what we were. So what does that mean? We're going to talk a little bit less about ourselves. Yeah, yeah. You didn't want to hear about us anyway. Well, you probably did. Hopefully you did. I mean, man, we're interesting. Maybe, kind of, but not that interesting. So that's again, we're going to talk a little bit less about ourselves. I got notes. Also, we're going to try to stay focused. We're going to have notes. We're going to know what we're talking about each time. Yay. And you notice that... I'm not in bed. I'm not sitting down on the couch. Not saying that we're not going to be in bed in the future. Not saying that I'll never be on the couch again. Probably going to have like a couple of nice little sit down, sit downs. But the energy is different in those situations. And especially until we get everything back in the direction that I want this back in. No, no beds. I am Groot. How was that? I don't know. If you go back and listen to like early episodes, wasn't in bed, had a little different energy. Also had a little different focus. And that's another part. We're going to start focusing back on the geek stuff. Okay? Because I don't know why we weren't. That's really what it is. You're going to get RuPaul. You're going to get um, Project Runway. The occasional, like, woo, it's a highlight moment. But other than that, we're doing geek stuff. Because that's what I am. Malibu Barbie. I'm a ballerina Barbie. I'm not a ballerina Barbie. What am I talking about? And less nice. Less, less nice. Between you and me, I'm really sick of it. I'm not sure if you remember, but in earlier podcasts, I called 
Jim Steranko, a hack who owed his entire career to um, Jack Kirby, who did everything that Steranko did first and better. And I'm not even a big Kirby fan. I also said that Siegel and Schuster pretty much almost deserved what they got from DC Comics because you know what they got? Almost a million dollars. Well, actually over a million dollars. So, yeah, where's their sad story? I don't know. We've been very nice and very polite. And it hurts. It hurts in the little black spot that is my heart for me to be so nice and polite all the time. It really, really does. Ow, stop hitting yourself, Edward. So, less of that. So this is going to be, it's not, we're not stopping and restarting. Oh, we did stop and restart. It's like when Space 1999, after the first season, how it didn't really catch an audience because it really didn't go anywhere. So they brought in that guy and in the second season we got Maya and we got like all sorts of cool aliens and we got plots that made no sense, but we didn't care because it was really stupid and it got canceled. Oh, wait, wait, that's not good. Okay, no, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. It's like Spider-Man movies where like, remember how we really liked the Spider-Man movies and they were really cool and they were really action and we had Tobey Maguire and we had Sam Raimi and everything was going great, but then it kind of seemed to kind of peter out for the third movie. So Sony gave us that reboot and the reboot was so great. No, no, it's not like that. It's not like that either. It's like Dungeons and Dragons where um, I hear really nice things about 5th edition. Yeah, that's what it's like. This is our 5th edition. What have I been doing since we've been gone? Well, glad you asked. Got a temp job. Working at Make-A-Wish right now. Ooh, Make-A-Wish. And that's nice. That's nice. Had a weird, awkward moment where I ran into my ex's sister there today. Like, old ex. Old ex. Okay, we're, we're long time ago ex. In a galaxy far, far away ex. Enough that I didn't even recognize her when she came in to talk. And I'm like, well, ooh. Who's this girl who's saying that she knows me? I don't know who she is. And then when I figured it out, I'm like going, damn, have I not changed in like a decade and a half? Because, wow, maybe I should. I don't know. Back on track with school, tried to do my MBA. Woo, MBA. Uh, business. I got nothing else to say there. That's all that is. And then the other highlight, which you can't tell fully because of the weird lighting here, and you definitely can't tell if you're listening on the podcast because you're listening, you can't see anything. But look, I got my hair the color I've been wanting it for three years. Do you know what it took? It took a combination of four colors and, like, an advanced degree in chemistry, apparently. Oh, and some uh, second degree chemical burns upon the scalp and forehead. And look, look at that, look at that. Oh my God, it's all silver gray. Actually even had someone at work ask me if this is my natural color and I'm like going, how old do you think I am? Let me look at my notes for a minute. Hey, Walking Dead, Walking Dead. What? I don't even know what to say about The Walking Dead. Um, enjoyable season. Uh, but, if you haven't watched Walking Dead yet, what, what's up with you? Either you don't watch it, in which case, like, this part, feel free to, like, just listen to me babble. Or you do watch it, but gosh darn it, watch it. Because someone died. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to mince words. Spoiler alert if you haven't watched your DVR yet. Beth died. Who's Beth? My point exactly. Oh my gosh, okay, that was like some sort of a weird glitch, and as I listened to the video, I became like a whole sentence off, and there is just freaky as crap.
So, let's get me back into my rant. Beth died. There's like a petition online to bring her back from the dead without her being a walker. I don't even know how that's going to happen. All for a character that we saw maybe five episodes. I don't understand this. We saw her maybe five times. The last two times they beefed her up just to make her something of interest just before they killed her. But still, they just killed her. Who cares? We didn't get anyone doing a petition for Herschel when he died. Herschel can die. Shane? No one did a petition to get Shane back when he died. Shane was hot. That blonde chick who hung out with Michonne? No one did a petition to bring her back. Hey, how about Rick's wife? Nope. Dead. No one cares. This one blonde little girl who we saw five times, maybe. Everybody's all in arms and wants her to come back. I don't get it. I will let you guys destroy the show and bring her back as not a zombie if we can kill off Carl instead. They're not going to kill off Carl because he's a kid. Oh, wait. They've killed off children on this show and no one cared. I don't understand why everyone's all upset about Beth. Bring it! She was a nothing character. Oh, RuPaul's Drag Race. RuPaul's Drag Race, they announced who the new contestants are, the new 15 that are going to be on next season. And I don't know any of them. I don't. Um, everyone's all excited because one of them's from Tucson. And she looks like a kicky little fun girl. Not a clue who she is. Joseph knows her. Joseph can fill us in on her when he gets back, but at this moment, I got nothing. I got nothing. She She's the one that, like, skinny, has, like, a weird Mary Tyler Moore flip thing going on over here, and looks like she's kind of more of an avant-garde queen or something. Looks interesting. RuPaul comes back in January, and I'm, I am looking forward to that, because I do say it is the best reality competition show on TV. Bar none. America's Got Talent being not a bad second. But, still, not a close second. But, 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 it is time for sad news. Yes. Now... In the past, um, you may have noticed that we had a, a cat here named Mr. Big. I called him Moisha. He was deaf. But he didn't know. And Mr. Big was like 19 years old. He was an old, old, old cat. If you've been listening, you've heard us talk about him. If you've been watching, you got to see him. And he's making a close-up. And he's trying to figure out why he's... In a, and then he just settles in and... And then we do the podcast around Mr. Biggie's personage. Well, unfortunately, Mr. Biggie died. Uh, Mr. Biggie passed away last week. Um, it was actually a very sad day. Um, I just knew, I knew it was time. Um, he really hadn't been eating. He'd been happy here, but... He was 19 years old. Uh, this was his third home in a year. And um, I got to hold him for a while in the morning. Um, I picked him up onto the bed because he liked being on the bed with us. And he wasn't able to get on the bed really much anymore. Joseph stayed home and mis held Mr. Biggie. And Mr. Biggie died in Joseph's arms later that night. Or that afternoon reasonably peacefully so we're not going to be having Mr. Biggie on the show anymore not not physically perhaps in spirit uh, it's not like we have a shortage of cats here but still he was a, a very nice he was a very good man and he will be missed he also had horrible timing because he decided to die on my birthday. So that was December 3rd. 
I would like to thank everybody who gave me birthday wishes. Yay, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> Dead Cat Day and birthday don't really work well together, but you tried. You really tried. Thank you for your sympathy um, wishes also with Mr. Big. Uh, we ended up having a small get-together. Uh, there was lots of, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to work that day. But we decided to have a little birthday get-together at the last minute. And I'd like to thank everybody who showed up for that. Glenn, Peter, um, Kyle, Justin, Heather. Hey, Heather. Heather, thank you for the gift. Yes, I, I, I eventually opened up the card. So uh, thank you, thank you. And it was a very enjoyable evening in spite of a very sad afternoon. And now I am 46. So those of you who have been enjoying my photographs of at 45, well, get over it. At 46 just makes no sense. That's just ridiculous. Who does at 46? No one. That's who. Um, yeah. Probably editing that out. Now that I've said I'm editing it out, I'm probably not editing it out. I do want to give you guys a quick little shout out when it comes to podcasts. I haven't done a, well, we haven't done a podcast lately, so how can I give any shout outs recently? But, Patrick, Scream Queens, you want to check that out. Scream, that's Scream Queens with a Z. It's a horror podcast where horror gets bent. He's very sweet, very entertaining. Even if you don't like horror movies, you will be entertained by Patrick. He is just a great, sweet guy. Very funny. Incredibly funny. A little loose with the four-letter words, but then again, I've been a little loose with the four-letter words in the past, and um, so get over it. Also, you've heard me mention in the past, and I'm mentioning them again right now, the Seder Sphere that is with Scott and Cindy, and they do a nice little po podcast, usually about an hour long, very categorized, okay? He's got little bumpers, which... I tried doing bumpers on here, it just didn't work. But maybe eventually I'll get different equipment and it'll work. But they got nice little bumpers that they do TV and they do movies and then they do theater and then they'll do... Well, eventually there may be a story about Scott's penis, the Impaler. And um, so there's that. Be forewarned. And I'm not recommending them just because I happen to win um, a Crabs Adjust Humidity um, expansion from them, which means I now have to buy Cards Against Humanity. But that's worth it. No. I've been listening to them and recommending them for long before that. Two other podcasts really quick, and that is Top 5 of Death. Top 5 of Death, basically... These guys, they come up with a topic, they come up with a top five list, very funny top five list. Then they post it online. Everybody votes on which top five list they like best. And then the winner, the guy who came up with that list, gets to, on the next episode, create a story about how the other two guys met their horrible demise. And they're part of the um, Geekly Inc family of podcasts, which also does Drunks and Dragons, which is a Dungeons and Dragons podcast, which is incredibly entertaining to listen to. So if you enjoy um, Dungeons and Dragons, or just humorous storytelling, I recommend Drunks and Dragons. Very funny. So that's my podcast shout out. Don't forget about Joshua Tree Feeding Program. They are a feeding program that helps people with HIV and AIDS get food. They also have a sister program that helps people feed their pets. That way, no one has to choose between feeding themselves and feeding their pets. The website is www.jtfp.org. There's a little tab there or for the pet assistance program. So go ahead and check them out. And this weekend, this weekend, you will hopefully hear from me again because this weekend is the Phoenix Comic Con Fun Fest. 
Fan Fest, not Fun Fest. And, okay, I'll be honest, I got free tickets to this thing, a free one day pass because I helped out with Comic Con. And this may be me biting the hand that feeds me, but I am not having high expectations regarding this. But maybe they'll prove me wrong. And if one way or the other, you guys are going to get to hear about it. You're going to get to hear about whether it's good. You're going to get to hear about whether it's bad. I will tell you all about it this weekend. Joseph will be coming back next week. He's doing the, a book signing tour with Jeannie. They're finishing up in Las Vegas with um, Terry Smith and I think Sharon Skinner and um, can't remember who all's up there for the final um, part of the book tour or book signing tour. If you're looking for a poof, which is one of the things in Jeannie's books, they're cute little fuzzy animals, uh, I've become her poof factory. So go to her website and get yourself a poof and we'll make you a poof. Until then, thank you all for your patience and your support. Truly missed you while I was gone, while we were gone, while everything was gone. Just looking forward to getting this all back and being back to conversing with you guys on a regular basis. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them below or above or wherever they happen to be located, wherever you encounter this. And until next time, hope you have a great, great day. Bye.